Good news, everybody. Matthew here with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft on the J. Say No Fan Server. In my last episode, I left off and we were building the automated cow farmer. Now, I had done a bunch of videos, and I did so many, in fact, that I just kind of made a bunch of videos and just kept making them and producing them and releasing them when I got a chance. Problem is, they're all really old, and I need to do something more up-to-date. I haven't been playing on the server much. I've been really out of it, actually. Uh, I've just been super busy these last four months, and it's I haven't recorded in four months. I don't think I've played very often at all, as a matter of fact. And But anyway, so I redid my entire design for my cow farmer because it was it was crap it didn't work at all so i had a lot of problems with my cow farmer oh you'll be kidding me i'm gonna have to get another for that but anyways so before it had all these little individual stalls and everything and i found the problem with that was the cows it was really hard to feed them and make sure that they were breeding and then it seemed like they kept getting stuck, and there were some, tons of problems. Uh, just the whole thing worked on the premise of they would come down and then get smothered, um, is what would happen. Uh, but, so I redesigned everything. So when I came over here to my basement, you know, originally it was all the way down here was everything. So I can still access all this stuff, but... I've redesigned the whole cow farmer, and let's take a look here. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what it was I did. So I even redesigned this a while ago, but I never got around to it. So instead of all these droppers and crud like that, I got a bunch of pistons, as you can see. And there is one dropper over here. And that dropper is just for the... It's just to push the meat down into the, uh, whatchamacallit, into the, uh, you know, the cat into the hopper at the end, down here, and then dispense it into here. So how this works is, I know you can't really see it, but, you know, there's a bunch of trap doors, so the cows are standing on top of the trap doors. The trap doors are all open, and what ends up happening is the cows breed, they fall down here, and then eventually I just push this. And as you can see, it's on the second block up there. So baby cows aren't going to get killed, but adults will. You leave that until they suffocate. And once they do, you undo it. And then you push this, which is the single hopper at the very end, which is going to push all the meat down into this, or not hopper, dispenser. I keep calling it a hopper. Dispenser. And then I got to make sure I turn it off, too. Because if I don't turn it off and I hit this, I have to tear apart everything, go over there, and re-put the bucket back in and refill it up. Because if you do it while the pist if you push the pistons out while that is done, it causes a problem. So it's a much simpler design, uh, a little bit more efficient for my uses. I'm not exactly sure if I showed you. I moved all my, you know, I moved my horses in here. I did get a. I thought I got some more horses, but I guess not. Oh. Oh. What happened to all my sheep? Did someone let... Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't have as many sheep as I thought. That might be it, too. I don't have as many sheep as I thought. I thought I had more... I guess I do not. Oh, one side was going to be for pigs, too. That's what it was, and I just don't have any pigs. I wanted to do a whole huge sheep farm with a bunch of sheep on it, but that that's not going to happen. Um, I also, uh, more updates, tore out my door over here. I don't want it anymore, so I got rid of it. It's gone. Because what I've been doing now is I t basically removed my old base. I, I, my old base is down here. As you can see, a lot of things filled in. I removed my portal. My portal's gone. Well, it's broken, so it doesn't matter. I don't come in here. There's very little stuff. There's some food in here. Ooh. Oh, I did have some meat. I can feed those cows. And then you can access all this. My plan is to make this... I can hear you. Make all of this be a... Um, 
piston type deal over here. So you can just come over, push a button, and bam, pistons go away. Um, I'm going to remove the center doors right here and make that also a piston type opening door, which I think would be really cool. Hopefully I can do that. And I've been moving everything into my base here, uh, or into the cathedral. I want to make my cathedral my new base. So, so I have tons and tons and tons and tons of my stuff, and it's all put up with, you know, all this stuff. Man, what is going on here? I bet you these are things that I don't have the things in them yet. Uh, if they're empty, that just means, like, until you get to the next one, this would all supposed to be dirt. I made large rooms for dirt and cobble and things like that. So everything has its own space, from smooth stone to gold to half slabs of uh, cobble to, you know, walls of cobble to steps of cobble. All of it has its own space, along with the wood and everything over there. And then some of them I haven't put, I haven't gotten any of the new stuff yet, so that's all there. Um, so that's there. And then, you know, like I said, then I have it going down all of these right here, <clears throat> too. So, you know, a lot of this is over here. It's going to be all my potions and things like that <clears throat> right here. And then I've got a water source right here. And these are probably this guy. I can't remember. Be I probably haven't ended up filling it. I've got my under chest. I've got my bookcases moved over to here. All that stuff. Um... Down here I have my auto smelter, which used to sit in the middle of that over there, and I put it over here. So now I got my auto smelter, and it's actually too wide now, so I can do two of them, which is what's nice. Ooh, lots of steak, and some gold, and some iron. I forgot I put that stuff in there. Like I said, it's been like a... I play like... I get on and play like maybe an hour once a week, if that. And then over here... This is right. I don't really think it is. Uh, I remember I was messing around with this. This goes straight down, like way, way down. And what is is that's where I have my automated brewing stand at. So right now I have it blocked off, which I think I'm going to block it off right there too. Because I think I screwed up with... Uh, this one goes straight down. I think I screwed up this one. I don't think that one's right at, at all. <clears throat> But I'm planning on making a, that's just going to have water down at the bottom so that when you jump, you fall through the water, blah, 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 you know, just the cushioning. This one is going to be a hopper elevator, you know, where you just get in a hopper, you look up, and you just click, and it just brings you up to the next, next minecart, not hopper elevator, minecart elevator. And I've also been putting in all these, <clears throat> you can see them. Oh, that one didn't get done right. I didn't do that one right. Uh, all of these, though. And they are my chandeliers. Uh, they're all supposed to have a middle one right there. This one obviously does not. And that one's going to have to get a little one put up there, too. Uh, I'm still working on this stuff. It's taken me a while to do it. Um, it's because I've been so busy. Um, honestly, I'm playing Guild Wars 2 more than I'm doing this. But I play Guild Wars 2 maybe an hour a day. Do my dailies. <clears throat> Unless some content comes out and then I release something. Um, I've also run out of episodes for that. And then I have my brand new nether portal over here, as you can see. It's big, it's huge, it's massive. I think I might start tearing it out. I'm going to take off and make this whole front area. But it's, it's, it's kind of cool. I like this nether portal. I always have a problem with some reason when I come in it, I always end up on this side, and I don't like that. But, either way. And you can see it kind of goes in, it goes out, it does, it's kind of cool. It, it fits with the architecture of this, of my whole place. So, that's sort of the, like the new things that I've got going on. I haven't worked on a bunch of it. Um, i got to fix this one and this one and put a little chandelier in the middle. Oh, I also have um, some wither skulls. I've got three of them, enough to get to bring up a wither, so that way we I can kill it, and then we'll get a beacon that I could put right in here. Because you can see, like I said, I've got a hole right there for. I don't know. I think I should. I think I should remove the chandelier almost. 
not entirely sure yet. Because I know it would be like right, I think it's right here would be the center. I think that would be my center where my I'm going to put my beacon at and have that go straight up so, so I have it as a light source. <clears throat> now I'll put it under the ground. That means i got to start getting together iron and all sorts of other things. I'm not kind of looking forward to it. But anyways, that's my goal there for that. And I do want to make an automated farm too that does, ever, that does uh, you know, just a simple water farm. You know, that just, oh, the water comes down, washes all the crops down to the bottom, and that's it. Simple. That's what I want to do. And I'm planning on making one, and I'm going to make it out here in the front. I just don't know exactly where yet. Man, this game is always laggy. And I don't know what it is. It must be because I'm recording. Even though I have a brand new computer, and it's all oh, so much faster than my old one. I think I'm probably going to end up taking a lot of this part of the dun uh, of the uh, jungle out and then putting in my farm. Maybe I'll put it in over here this way, you know. I might have it going this way. I'll have my arm made a farm going that way. I hear a zombie. I don't like that. But anyway, that's, those are my future plans. But like I said, my main thing was I decided to just scrap all my previous video. Uh, oh, there is a zombie in here. Uh oh, oh, like, 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 like. <clears throat> Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's in here, and I don't know how he got in. I thought I had enough light everywhere. I, I probably don't. I also crank up the light on my game, so that way I can see better and you guys can see better. Because if I were doing the actual... I think it's under video settings? Brightness, bright. Oh, uh, actually, I don't know if that's right. Even at 50%. Oh, 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 oh. I accidentally logged out. <sighs> it, it's a lot darker, as you can see. Oh, that might be why. I probably need to put some more. Torch in That's probably a good idea, right? Torches? Put some torches in? Let's put some tor Damn you! That is just ridiculous. I, I, I think my recording is just eating up my uh, RAM. I need to get more RAM, I think. I, had six, I put in 16 megs. Before, I was running with 4 megs of RAM. And ooh, definitely need to put more light in. Definitely do need to do that. Oh, I'm out of torches. But anyways, I got some more light in here. That seems good for now, I think. Um, oh my lord, this is getting worse as the game progresses. And I don't think it's a server issue at all, because they just... If I'm right, we just moved the server to a new server in Europe, or not in Europe, uh, in America, because before it was in Germany someplace, I think, because uh, whenever Adrian was taking care of that, but, um, and I think he moved it in here just so that it's a lot moodier inside of here, uh, with my light turned down, my, you know, my brightness at whatever, but my whole plan is to get more of the, um, like I said, I was putting in all these, and that's my whole plan is to put them all up and down here. And I think I'm going to do it on this side too, but stagger it so that way they're right here instead of in the same row as this. I think that will help the light. I think I should almost do the this row and do this one in a staggered formation and then do this one in the normal location. I haven't decided. That means i got to rip up all the ones that I've done already. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But regardless, those are my plans. That's what I want to do. So, I just figured I would give you guys an update. Instead of actually giving you stagnant videos that I record, I think I recorded them at Christmas time. I mean, that's six months ago. Uh, and I probably did record them at Christmas because that's when I had almost a month off of school. So, I was sitting around doing nothing 
except for two days a week when I went and worked at my job. But, and then school has just been super busy when I and I had to retake a class because my teacher decided to be a <laughs> jerk. She told and I took the class. She told me she's going to advise me to retake it. I said, "Well, does that mean I'm failing and I have to retake it, or are you just advising me to retake it, meaning I'm passing but you still want me to retake it?" And she wouldn't answer my question. Now, my teacher doesn't like me very much, I don't think. Um, I really don't think that she does. Oh, that, that is actually bugging me. I want to turn my brightness all the way up. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. But she I don't think she likes me. Don't know why. She just doesn't like me. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever. I, I don't care. I don't like her either. Um, I never cared for her. I always thought she was a vegar, very negative person. Uh, she's not very helpful for someone who's supposed to be a senior level teacher. Um, she doesn't advise very well, but that's neither here nor there. That's not what's important right now. I probably should still knock that one off, though, shouldn't I? Yes. But anyways, I had to retake the class. Um, and she wouldn't tell me whether or not I actually passed the class, because you have to pass with a C. Well, she gave me a C minus, so I have to retake the class. So that means I was supposed to be graduating in a couple of weeks, and I'm not now. Instead, I've got to go another three months of school because I couldn't take these two senior level classes together. I couldn't take my portfolio class, my final portfolio class, and my senior project together. So I've been working on redoing my senior project. And for the senior project class I have to retake. And it's been kind of upsetting and pissing me off and not happy about any of it. Uh, but now I'm starting to ramble. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode good. It's more or less an update episode. I'm not really doing anything, but I figured I'd let people know what's going on and actually give fresh content for a change. But those of you who follow me along, Give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments or messages, leave me some love, I'd love to hear from everybody. You know that, I always say that. Um, also, if you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have some more subscribers. I was getting up to 50 at one point, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but for me that's a lot, because I hardly do anything on here. Um, and it started going down, I lost a few subscribers. And it kind of that's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like, eh, hey, that's, that, that's to be also to be expected. But anyways... Subscribe to me, you know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Subscribe to those two, that would be great. Uh, you can find that information at the end of the video. But until next time, bye.